Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some simple things you can do to make your hair look better instantly. We all have our good hair days and our bad hair days, so what I'd like to do is try to help you guys with having more good hair days than bad hair days. All these things are super easy and super simple to do and they make such a huge difference. So I'm so excited to be sharing them with you guys. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna be sharing with you is something that I have been doing for years and it is my best kept secret and every time I do it, it makes such a huge difference in my hair. So if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I am the CEO and founder of my own hair extension company called Fancy Hair. This is my full set of fancy hair extensions, but what I would like to share with you guys is you don't actually have to use the full set. I love using the full set when I'm going out to a big event to add a lot of length and volume to my hair, but on more casual days where I just want my hair to look a little bit more voluminous than what it is naturally I'll just clip in two or three wefts it's the simplest thing to do and it literally takes less than a minute you'll see in the b-roll that I'm gonna insert here that my hair without the extensions is still long but it's definitely not super thick so that's why I like to clip in two or three wefts just to give my hair a little bit more volume and make it look a little bit less limp so this is my best kept secret no one can ever ever tell whenever I do this trick. They literally think that my own hair is just very long and thick, but I actually do clip in two or three wefts. So anytime you see me filming a video with my hair down, or if you see me taking any photos on my Instagram, I likely put in a couple of wefts from my fancy hair extension set. So if you guys are interested in checking out fancy hair extensions for yourself, I'm gonna leave a link down below as well as across the screen. And if you guys are interested in knowing which shade I use, I actually mix a milk chocolate brown set and my mocha brown set because I do have natural balayage uh, highlights in my natural hair. So that's why I like to mix those two shades to really blend really beautifully with my balayage. And I always go for the 240 gram set. Another trick that I like to do when my roots are overgrown and you can really tell the difference between my natural hair color and where I've colored my hair is just to flip my hair over to one side. It's literally the laziest hair hack I could ever share with you guys. When your hair is parted in the middle like my hair is today, overgrown roots are a lot more noticeable. So that's why when you flip it over to one side, it makes it a lot less noticeable and literally takes a couple of seconds to do. I get asked by a lot of you, especially in my Instagram photos, how I sleek my baby hairs down and how I achieve my uh, low sleek buns without having any baby hairs uh, sticking out. And my secret is this, I have shared this with you guys on my channel so many times. I have literally been going through the exact same tub for the last few years. This stuff will last you forever and a little bit goes a long way. It's 100% natural, non-toxic. It is by Nubian Heritage and it's called the Indian Hemp and Tamanu Grow and Strengthen Edge Taming Taffy. It's basically a taming taffy. So you take a little bit on your fingertips and just slick down any areas of your hair that you need to slick down. And it slicks down those areas without making them hard or crunchy and your hair just feels like your natural hair texture. That's why I really love this stuff. I really don't like those uh, taming taffies that are sticky or hard or greasy. This does none of that and it has virtually no scent to it which I really appreciate as well so if you guys are interested in checking this out I'm gonna leave a link down below all right so this is a trick that I wanted to share with those of you who have overgrown roots and maybe you don't want to flip your hair to one side maybe you don't have time to color it for whatever reason I wanted to share with you guys this product it is not sponsored I actually only use this when I absolutely need to just because I'm trying to stay away from a lot of aerosol products but it really gets the job done it smells really good and it really helps disguise overgrown roots so this is by Redken it's called the pillow proof uh, blow-dry two-day extender and it's a color matching dry shampoo for 
brunette and dark shade. So as you can see on the lid, it has this uh, dark brown sticker on it. They have one for blondes and I'm pretty sure they have one for redheads. So you basically just spray it a couple of inches away from your roots and it's going to deposit a beautiful rich brown color to your roots. So if you have a similar hair color to me, it's gonna help camouflage your overgrown roots. So if you guys are interested in checking this out as well, I'll link it down below. Another thing that I have been doing recently and that's all thanks to the whole pearl clip trend or the hair clip trend that has come back into style is clipping my hair off to one side and what this does is basically lift your face it's kind of like a non-surgical facelift if you will and it just freshens up your face makes you look more awake and it just makes your hair look a lot more put together even if it's not styled now you guys heard me mention on this channel probably many many times before that i suffer from dry hair and usually my hair gets dry at the ends because the ends are the oldest part of your hair and they have received the most damage in terms of uv damage and coloring and heat and all of that stuff so i like to make sure that my ends are well nourished and protected and my favorite way to do that is with a hair oil now i mentioned a couple of my absolute favorite hair oils on this channel before but i wanted to share with you guys a recent one that i have been using for the last few weeks this is by the way hair care and it's the rose hair and body oil i really like this one because it's very lightweight and anytime i have some excess left over on my hands after distributing it through my hair i like to just rub it on my skin because it gives my skin a really healthy dewy glow so if you guys are interested in checking this out i'm gonna link it down below now if you're on the other side of the spectrum and you suffer from super oily hair or your hair gets greasy super super fast one of my favorite tricks is to disguise your roots using a headband like this if you can find a wider one that's even better because it's going to cover more surface area but if Feel like this is such an easy instant way to fix the greasy root situation so it can hold you over a little bit longer until you have a chance to wash your hair another one of my favorite ways to disguise grease at the root area is just to pull my hair back into a sleek low bun because that way it looks like i have product in my hair to sleek my hair down and you can't really tell that it's greasy and it takes less than a minute to put my hair into a low bun and so that's why it's an instant fix. Now, if you wanted to take your little bun or top knot for that matter to the next level, one of my quick and easy fixes for that is just to take a little square scarf like this and you can tie it around the base of your bun into a little bow and it really elevates your look, makes it look so cute and put together and it literally takes like 30 seconds. Another one of my favorite hair hacks, if you will, is to take a ribbon and it could be any ribbon. It doesn't have to be Chanel. This is just a ribbon that I reused from one of my Chanel purchases that I unboxed because who wants to throw away a Chanel ribbon? So I thought might as well put it to good use and I love using these in my hair. It adds such a pretty touch and everyone always asks me where I got this ribbon from and it's literally just the gift wrapping ribbon that they use in the Chanel store with purchase. If you ever buy anything from a store where they use a beautiful gift ribbon like this, never throw them out because you can always use them in your hair. You can use them to tie around a top handle on a handbag. There are so many different things that you can do with these kinds of ribbons. So that's why I always hang on to them instead of throwing them away. Another one of my super easy and quick hair fixes is just to refresh the areas of your hair that frame your face. Whenever I heat style my hair, I always notice that the next day or the day after that, the pieces that kind of look a little bit wonky are the pieces around my face. Everything else kind of looks okay. So that's why if I don't 
have a lot of time i'll always just take a uh, curling wand and curl the hair around my face and that instantly freshens up my entire look i also like to use this trick in instances where my hair is freshly washed but i didn't have time to heat style it i'll just pull all of my hair back into a low bun and just style the hair around my face and that will instantly make my hair look like i've styled it when all i did was just throw it into a bun and curled the pieces around my face now the next hair trick i'm going to share with you might probably be an obvious one but that's to use dry shampoo especially if you suffer uh, from greasy roots or greasy hair in general i personally don't but there are instances where i might go a little overboard with a hair mask or with a hair oil and my hair will look a little bit greasy and heavy so i want to lighten and freshen it up without washing my hair again so i'll use a product like this this is the briogeo scalp revival charcoal and biotin dry shampoo i've mentioned this on my channel a few times before this is my favorite favorite dry shampoo mainly because it doesn't come in an aerosol bottle and the second thing is it's super effective so this is a little squeeze bottle you just twist the cap like this and you squeeze it on the sides the product comes out you do want to be careful and not spray this too close to your hair but i feel like that rule applies to all dry shampoo so as long as you spray it a few inches away from your hair and you kind of like shake your hair out and brush it out with your fingers it really freshens up your hair and makes it look so good and finally we've all been in the situation where we've just washed our hair it's fresh it's clean it smells really good and then we go to the gym and it's not smelling or looking so fresh and so clean anymore. In that situation, nobody wants to wash their hair all over again and start from scratch, especially if you have longer hair like me or if you have super, super thick hair. It's a pain in the butt. That's why in those situations, I like to freshen up my hair with a hair perfume. Now, I'm very, very careful with the hair perfumes that I use. I have been using this one for years and I still have quite a bit left in it because a little bit of this goes a long way but what i love about this one in particular is that it is an oil it doesn't have any alcohol in it so it doesn't dry out your hair it doesn't leave your hair feeling like hey this makes your hair smell good and it nourishes it at the same time so this particular one is by Angel. It's called the Perfuming Body Oil. This isn't available everywhere. I picked this up on Sephora a couple years ago. I'm not sure if they still have it, but if they do, I'll definitely link it in the description box down below. But I swear by this stuff. I love it. And I always get so many compliments on the scent of my hair anytime I wear it. All right, you guys, so I think that wraps up all of the tips I wanted to share with you in this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and found these tips super, super helpful. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more videos like this, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button to make sure you're notified every time I upload a new video. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. And I'll see you in my next one.